United. The United Earth government calling all hands to join the RDF. This episode of Getting Geeky with Game Relief is sponsored by Robotech. It's a game called Robotech Force of Arms. Choose a side. Will you fight to capture the SDF-1 to recover um, the secrets of proto- protoculture. protoculture? Or will you save the battle fortress? Or... Um, and you, the the earth from the devastation, devastation. of the Zen Zen Stradi. This Zen Stradi, and I don't know. Armadia. Armadia. Ask for it in your local game store, July 2018. Um, SKU. Yes, SKU number S. P, yeah, let's go to the real one. So, yeah, ask for it in your stores. And it, you want to have them order it under SKU number. Um, It will be in this coming GTM magazine. Order in stores with SKU SRF 0600. <laughs> Getting Geeky with Gamer Leaf, the podcast in which one man strives to level up his geekhood and helping you do the same one battle at a time. Now, let's get geeky with Gamer Leaf. Welcome to Family Fun Day Friday. Today we're going to be talking about a game and getting geeky with game relief. It's called Yard of the Month. Yard of the Month. Yard of the Month. Yeah, so welcome to Getting Geeky with Game Relief. This is Family Fun Day Friday. And like she said, we're talking about... Yard of the Month. Yard. How about Yard of the Month? Yeah, Yard of the Month. Okay, so go ahead. Let's talk about it, people. Gnome Smashing Fun, the Gnome Smashing Garden Sabotaging Game of Wits, Wits, Flowers, and Fun for the Whole Family. Did I mention Gnome Smashing? Well, that's what it says on the Kickstarter page. But why are we talking about this for Family Fun Day Friday, y'all? Because it releases on Friday. Well, it's already out. Why are we talking about it as a family? Because we did it for the game, right? We did what for a game night? We played it. Okay, yeah, we played Yard of the Month. So let's tell them about it. What can you tell them about it besides what the Kickstarter page um, says, Princess It's Lee? really fun. And there are good gnomes and bad gnomes and weeds and flowers. And the bad gnomes, like, like let you not, like, let you grow um, the good flower. And the wheat are very bad. They kill your flower and you know the good gnome like looks happy with the red hat um it like guards your flower and there's like tool to get rid of there's a hammer to get rid of the gnomes good and bad and there's a wheat thingy where you get the wheat out so you you don't lose any when he says wheat he means weeds i think yeah weeds cool so how do you play this game princess leaf it's really fast. You just have to get ten or five flowers. So how do you do that? You earn flowers with seeds and stuff. And if you have a normal flower, you have to wait for a while to for it to grow. How, and how do you do that? Do you have seed cards or how's the whole game? Yeah, going? you have seed cards. I don't remember. Do we play the same game? Yes. Well, tell me about these seed cards, because I remember flowers that were upside um, down. Or they're seeds. Um. And Where are they? I'm looking on the Kickstarter page. There are twelve. Page. I don't remember twelve. Those, no, those are fertilizer cards. You actually turn. Uh, how you do it is you have the 
flower cards and you turn them upside down the first turn and then the next turn it becomes well it's a seed so you turn the flower upside down and then what and then it becomes a flower how um after your turn yep so ne your next turn you turn it over and but you can turn it immediately over if you have a fertilizer card that you lay down with it so um what did you think? So they, and then what? Did, how do they play the game? What are they trying to? How do they play it? You're trying to get five or ten cards with the flowers. In your garden, how do you do that? I told you. Well, you told us that you put them down, but then, is that all that the game is? You just put the seed seeds down or whatnot? And then you try to get rid of the knacks and weeds. Cool. So yeah, so you're playing. So you get the you, everybody gets seven cards dealt to them and then you go ahead and go have a free for all you can lay down any card you want uh, how many ever cards you have and you can you always draw up to seven if i recall correctly and then like barbarian leaf was saying you have weeds that you place and you have mean evil and also good gnomes and you can smash those gnomes with hammers and so that's cool and you have the fertilizer cards that you can put down with the seeds and you said we can get rid of the weeds with what a hammer no, that was the gnome. So what about the weeds? Um, garden tools. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So, and how do you remember? Do you remember what? What? How do you play? I know you came in at the tail end. Um, it's like you're trying to get to ten flowers. So after you put it down, and then into your next turn, then you can face it up. Um, the you're trying to win to get try to get to 10 before the other person yes yes so there you five. go 10 or 5 yeah so it started off a little slow but then barbarian leaf came in after a while um so i know you came in after a while and you didn't end up winning but what did you think about this game barbarian leaf kind of fun only kind of yeah why so i don't know you don't know well what do you know about it um it's a card game okay what are, what are your thoughts on it um, um, I think I would get it. You would get it? So you would back this game on Kickstarter? Yeah. Oh, cool. How much is it on the Kickstarter? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? What about you look at the Kickstarter page and tell us what it says? Or the Kickstarter page. I don't We're know. right on the Kickstarter page. Oh, that one. Um, pledge, $18 or more. Yard of the Month, core card set. And you can also get the fancy smancy box for $25. And $32 you get Yard of the Month Core Game Times 2. Or you can get two smancy fancy boxes for $35. So that's pretty cool. So you would back this game on Kickstarter if you had money? Yes. Why? Because it's kind of fun. Kind of fun. Cool. That's awesome. So would you play it again? Yeah. And... Did you win? No. But you still liked it? Yeah. Well, that's good to hear. What about yourself, Princess Leaf? I liked it. Would you back this game on Kickstarter? Yes. And would you play it again? Yes. What would you tell your friends about it? Um, play this game. Why should they? Um, because they should, because it looks, because they need to. They need to. Why? There's a lot of games out there. Why do they need to? Because it's a garden game. It's a garden game. Cool. That's cool, Bean. So, um, what would you change about Yard of the Month if you could change one thing? What do you think they... They would make it so dads couldn't win. They would be on second. Okay, so say that again just in case Snack Leaf got in their way. So dads could be in second. She would make it so dads around the world wouldn't be able to win Yard of the Month. I don't know if we should get this game now if, if she, we're going to play that way. What about yourself, Barbarian Leaf? What did you not like about it? Um, I didn't like the weeds. The weeds? Why not? Don't you like sabotaging people? Yeah. So what did you not like about the weeds? Um, they're on, they're on my... They, people put them on me. Oh, you didn't like being sabotaged. Interesting. What would be one thing you would do to change it? I don't have an idea, actually. You don't have an idea. Okay, so you probably, I don't know if you did, maybe you like the kids' ideas and what how they feel about the game. I guess I could, just for courtesy or just for 
kicks and giggles. Let's throw in what Game Relief thinks about it. So, Yard of the Month, it was pretty fun. I liked it. Um, it took a little bit to get to the table. At first, it was really slow. It was just me and Princess Leaf. And I thought that it was really overpowering. There it seemed like there was a lot of gnomes. Because at first, that's all me and Princess Leaf were putting down was gnomes. Possibly, just possibly, I'm not going to say it was totally... But it could have been the shuffler's fault that there was all those gnomes at the first of the game. Who shuffled when we played, Princess Leaf? Dad. Dad. Yeah, game release. So I shuffled. So maybe I'm a little don't like my shuffling. I'm biased against my shuffling. So yeah, that I thought there was a little bit of too many gnomes. But like I said, that could have been my shuffling part or lack thereof. And yeah, it was. I like that. Um, other than that, I thought the gnomes were too many. But we also had a prototype, so I don't know if we got the, let's see, if we got the gnomes. Because in this, yeah, we may have had too many, I don't know. Because according to this, what's in the shed, you get 108 total cards, 34 flowers, 14 cards of hammers, 12 fertilizers, 14 nick the gnome, and 14 knack the gnome, and 10 garden tools, and 10 weed cards. That sounds a little bit more balanced or just like i said my crappy shuffling could have been part of the problem but they've got a lot of reviews out this is our review we really liked it i think overall we liked it um i would get rid of the tuck box i didn't care about the tuck box but i don't know much about it but they do have the fancy schmancy box what do you think about that box princess leaf i want it the final product may vary. Yeah, so that looks like a little cool of her box. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, so they maybe they fixed what my problem was with the game. Or maybe I just got to fix and figure out how to shuffle better. It looks like there was quite a few reviews on there besides ours, which isn't on there, of course, because this is the first time you're hearing about it. But anyways, you are, well, not the first time, because you maybe heard Engage Family Gaming, because... Who was on the Engage Family Gaming, the podcast, Princess Lee? I forgot, but we interviewed him. We interviewed him, but he was also, we went on his podcast. Did you know that? Yes. And we're actually on the same morning. So if they're listening now, or if they didn't hear it already, they can go over to Engage Family Gaming and listen to me and Princess Lee on Engage Family Gaming podcast. And you told them your new favorite game. It's changed in the last two weeks. What did it change to? Yard of the month. Yeah, so yard of the month. So I don't know if they have a if they can put a uh, what do you call it? Uh, Stephen teased about they should put. Well, I don't think he was teasing, but he said they should put a badge on their Kickstarter page saying Princess Leaf's new favorite game or something like that. But anyways, there was quite a few reviews besides just us. They had Michael Wright, who is the unfiltered gamer, talked about it as well as Jason, the board game mechanic. One of our favorites, Logan Chops, also reviewed it. And, yeah, so that's cool. You can check out all this on their Kickstarter page. But, yeah, I really liked it. So, overall, how many Leafs would you give it, Princess Leaf? A thousand. What about yourself, Barbarian Leaf? Um, uh, three thousand. Three thousand. So, a thousand and three thousand Leafs. What do you got? No, five thousand. Oh, they're just trying to get up on on each other. Anyways, I will give this as many leafs as you can give a game, especially a card game. I think we should go back and play it with somebody else shuffling. Or maybe we can fix the card so they don't say that. But I think it was probably game relief shuffling problem. So if you sit down to play Yard of the Month, you do not want to play or at least have who shuffle? Dad. Dad. You don't have your dad shuffle unless your dad shuffles a little bit better than game relief. Now it's time for Kickstarter's Corner. Or what else do we do? I don't know. What did you what were you were gonna tell us about something, Barbarian Leaf? A game. So what is that called? Grand Prix Story Two. It's time for Adventures and Application. Acquisition. He's too busy glued to the game. So what can you put that down for a minute and tell us about this new game you wanted to talk about for Adventures and Application Acquisition, Barbarian Leaf? Um, it's a... Uh, Here, put it down and tell us all about it, can you? It's like a racing game. Yeah, put First, it down and tell us all about it. What is it called? Um, I told you. Um, Not them, tell them. Um, Grand Prix Story 2. What do you like about Grand... What, what is Grand Prix Story 2? 
Um, it's a racing game. For what? Like, tell us about it. What? Where do you play it on your on your thumbs? IPad. IPad. On your iPad. So tell us all about it, can mm. you? Can you tell us all about it? It's a, it's just a racing game. So do you race camels, or what do you race? And tell us about it. What People. you can. People. So you got a bunch of runners on Grand Prix Story Two. Mm-hmm. It's runners. No. Tell us well, well, who's it's racing. Cars. Oh, it's car racing. So what can you? Why do you like this one? Because it's racing. Racing. But it's not car, it's car racing, so tell us, how do you play? Tell us about it. We don't know about it. Nobody's, yeah, you're racing. They don't, okay, so uh, there's uh, plenty of racing games out there. Why this one? It's a 2D game. It's a 2D game, okay, tell us all about it. Uh, nobody knows about it, Barbara Ann Lee. Yeah. No, nobody does, that's why you're talking about it. It does tell you how to play. Okay, so it's got a how to play section. What else does it got? Mm, I don't know. I don't know, you played it or not? Yeah. So, what did you think about it? I liked it. Was it free? Yes. Oh, good. That saves some money. So, if somebody wants to go ahead and try this game out, how do they play it? Um, I forgot. You just barely had it. I had you put it down. So, you were glued to it a minute ago. How do you play it? <laughs> I don't know. I forgot. You forgot. Maybe we'll have to delete this game. I guess we'll delete it because he doesn't know how to play it. Is that a good idea? Mm, maybe for years. No, for I don't have it on mine. But should we delete <laughs> it on yours? Because you don't remember how to play it anyway. Well, maybe I can try to remember. Okay, try to remember and tell us about it, can you? Okay. I'm going to try to remember. Okay, tell us. What do you do? Um, <laughs> make a, first you pick, a, you get, have a normal car and you pick a color. Okay, so you got to design your car at first? Yeah, you could get a mechanic. Um... A driver. Um, I forgot what this one was called. A uh, mechanic. You can get two mechanic. So you can pick your mechanic. What mechanic do you pick? Uh, I got two. One of them named T Flats, and one of them named Speed Miss. Okay. And my driver is Pack Goto. Okay, so you got two mechanics and a driver, and then did you design the car? Yeah. And then what happened after that? You designed the car, and then what happened? Um, you just design it. That's all you do in the game. Is just a designing <laughs> of a car game? No, you then there's a racing button, there's a menu, and that's all. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, build, race, research, team, yeah. and system, and share. You'll know how to do that when you start playing. Okay, so I guess you got to try it. Don't take Barbara and Lee's word for it. Go ahead and download it because, he, like he said, he forgot how to play it. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, adventures and application acquisition. Now I was going to do another portion of the podcast, but I seem to have misplaced my partner in crime. Where did she go? It's time for <laughs> Kickstarter Corner. <laughs> 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 oh, she's back. We were missing you, Princess Lee. Not in crime. She's not in crime. Okay. Well, anyways. Dad's in crime for shuffling games. Okay. Well, don't have Dad shuffle games. So, anyways, we've got Princess Lee joining us to go ahead, and we're gonna go ahead and bring you. What are we bringing them? Kickstarter corner. Kickstarter corner. So let's do it then, shall we? Okay, let me bring these up really quick, and then we can tell them all about these cool games that we have on the Kickstarter corner. So, anyways. Oh, and guys, just so you know, I'll have a me-only challenge. What's that mean? A challenge for the Kickstarter. Well, tell them. What are you challenging them? Tell them about it. I'm challenging you to dance on your toes while standing on your head. Interesting. If you choose to do that. Go ahead, knock yourselves out, and you probably will. But anyways, we've got some games on the Kickstarter corner. Let's do that, shall we? Yes, and we're not going to be reading them backwards anymore. Okay, what so games we do we have? have? Monster Card. Boulevard. Boulevard. Two to four player strategic game featuring 90 silly sedic. Yeah, it's got 90 silly seductive and scary monster cards. 
Easy to learn, hard to master. She can say it right every time. I always say monster. Easy to learn, hard to monster. But she got it right this first time. You want to play this with your older kids, uh, 13 and up, because of the seductive monsters. But the monsters look really cool. They don't look creepy. So if you're 10, you get to play it. No, I would say 13 up. But anyways, it has been funded. What's next, Princess Leaf? Castle Madness. What can you tell us about this one? Castle Madness. The stars are right. A Lovecraftian. Yeah, Lovecraftian. Cult building game for two to four players, which you are the old one. Yeah, so you're one of the old ones. Or you are the old one, I guess it said. They've got, well, let's see. Well, actually, Monster Car Boulevard goes through what day? Um, Tuesday, July 17th. Yeah, so you got a while, and like we said, they are funded. And then Castle Madness goes through whenabouts? Wednesday, June 20th. So yeah, check that one out on the Kickstarters. Um, what do you think about that? They got some pretty cool art, I think so at least. Yeah, and their um, dollar symbol is weird. Dollar symbol? Where's that at? Whereabouts? What are you talking about? Right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, because I don't know. Twenty-five dollars. Actually, it's not twenty-five dollars. They, yeah, the dollar symbol is weird because what are they trying to do? Euros? Maybe it's in euros. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's see. I can tell you exactly. I maybe. Yeah, they're coming from Belgium, so I don't know if it's in Belgium money or what it is doing. But yeah, so their dollar symbol looks a little bit weird. But don't fret because they have a conversion there on the Kickstarters. Anyways, next we've got... The Pit, the board game. It's a four-player play, four co-op. Dungeon crawler in an epic science fact. Not science fact, science fiction science or sci-fi. fiction universe inspired by the culture classic video game yeah this one looks pretty cool and did you know princess leaf that for uh, about four or five dollars they can actually go and play the video game of this they can get it um on, as one of the pledges on the kickstarter no i did not i didn't know either until we were talking to jonathan over at no it wasn't jonathan it was steven i kept calling him that but luckily it didn't come out that way but steven we talked to him about it on our episode where we talked to him about, and he's from Engage Family Gaming. Who's on that episode this morning? They got a, they they have a show going on this morning, and somebody's gonna be on it. Who was that? Me, Gamer Leaf, and Steven, cause he gave his helpers a break. Yeah, he gave his helpers a break. But so he man. said that they, he sounded like for the first time he said they, it sounded like he was saying they were dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he edited that, I think. But yeah, he did come across sounding like his helpers were dead. But luckily, that no one was killed in the bringing of Princess Leaf and me on their podcast. So that's a relief. Next, we've got another one that's funded. What is this? Super Age Role Playing Game. Super Age is a tabletop role playing game created in a hero you can dream of at any power level inspired by the... Apocalypse. Apocalypse. And they're double funded, so they're two hundred percent. No, they're funded. not funded yet. Well, they were going for eighteen hundred, and somehow they have thirty six hundred. You have to so, wait till the end, and then they're funded. Oh yeah, that's true. So these games are not funded, but according to this, they have reached their pledge level goal, and but higher. they're not like she said, they're not funded. There, they got higher than that. We did have the creator of this on the podcast, so if you want to go back, you can listen to an interview I did with him. So that was pretty and cool. And I wasn't on it. Yeah, but that's okay. You can listen to some stuff with Princess Leaf's on. Next, we've got... Treasure Mountain combines worker placement and tile laying to create a unique experiment where you can... Or experience. Bump, experience where you can bump other workers off space and take the action. Your dad really likes this because the bumping mechanism, how you bump them off is it's dependent upon... The, what is it, trolls? Or, no, they're not trolls. They're, what are they? Um, not golems, not trolls. I always forget. Um, 
uh, what are they? Dwarfs. The dwarf meeples. You can bump people. It depends on your beard size. I thought that was cool because I like beards. You know that. He was trying to grow a beard, but then me and mom and everybody else wanted him to cut it because we didn't like his scratchy beard, and he still has to cut it. I guess they don't like scratchy beards. Oh, wait. We didn't do the time. They're past their goal. They haven't funded yet. They have eight more days to go. They end on June the 1st in the month that I was born. Yeah, that's uh, June 1st. And they're almost at 200% their goal. They're going for 25K. They're at 48K. And I don't know if we told you Super Age has two weeks to go, ending the 8th of June. And then, like she said, this other one ends on June 1st. So they got about a week to go or whatnot. Next, we've got... Forgotten Fight, a deck building card game. You need to choose a team of three heroes to prove that you know the best combo and forget the fight. Yeah, and Forgotten Fight. And they're going for their goal. They're almost at 10% of it, so that's kind of cool. And they still got 32 days to go, going through the 26th June of June. 28th. Or 26th, whatever way you want to look at that. I'm seeing 26, she sees 28. You'll have to be the judge. Yeah, 28th. Yeah, how, whose eyes are better? Go ahead and check and see. Get, send us an email over at GameRelief at GameRelieveGo.com. Tell us whose eyes are better, mine or? Mine. Yep. And next game we've got, this one we can see a little bit better because the, I don't know why we can, but what is it called? On their Merry Way rewatch. And the Steven, the person we asked, recorded it, maybe with his family or he re Tired his family. Well, he talked about it anyway. Yeah. It was one of their highlights. But anyways, a unique path. Building board games, starring the underdogs in the tells of Robin Hood, the greedy merchandise, and the merry men. Yep, and they were going for. They're almost. They're getting closer to their goal. They still got quite some. Time. And Joshua was one of the backers. Joshua McMurray, who did. Um, yeah. I want to say his game. Yeah, we can tell you actually. He one of his games. We actually reviewed one of his games. Did you know that, Princess Leaf? Mm -mm. Well, let's look at the Kickstarter. I don't know if you remember this game. Oh, Here's... yeah. What is the it? The paper smelled really bad. Yeah, it came out. It, looked, it smelled like a campfire. But what was it? What did you think of it? It was called what? Frontier the Card Game Nuts. And it, if you got a prototype, don't smell the paper. Yeah, but they, they did end up funding. And Joshua McMurray, who did fund that, is one of the... Backers of what is it? What were we talking about? Merry Way. Oh, yeah, on their Merry Way, which you should definitely check out on the Kickstarters as they have relaunched and they're doing quite well now this time. Uh, she, what does she want me to do? She wants me to hit back, so I'm back in the button and hopefully we'll be able yeah, back the button. There we go. So we got it on their Merry Way relaunch going through the 12th of June. Yeah. So, yeah, check that out. A day before my birthday. A day before Princess Leaf is too old to be on the podcast anymore. No, I'm not. Oh, well, I guess there's not an age limit <laughs> on the podcast, so that's the relief. Next, we've got Bushido. I don't know how to say that. Bushido Duels. Bushido Duels. An easy to learn and fast to play card game for two to four six or eight players set in the old japan yep and they've got three weeks to go they're going yeah. through what the um let me see thursday june 13th 14th oh 14th yeah so that day so after that time princess leaf will no longer be on the podcast because she'll be too <laughs> old for it don't you think and you should be on the podcast oh <laughs> i just disqualified myself because i'm oh, older than princess they... leaf um, let's see. They have free shipping, um, friendly shipping to the USA, EU, and Australia, and also, also my mom would like this. Why would mom like this? Because she likes Japan. There you go. So yeah, definitely check this out. Um, it looks pretty cool, pretty fun. So that is... That's it for Kickstarter Corner. No, isn't it? it isn't. Let me show you the one we haven't done. What? We clicked them all. The Pit Board Game. We haven't done that one. The Pit the Board Game. She wants to talk about it again. If you remember us talking about it, you're not senile. But I guess Princess Leaf getting so old or whatnot. No, we're 
is Cena going senile. That's why she can't be on the podcast anymore. He's going anymore. Cena. Yeah, That's Cena. why he can't be on the podcast anymore. We're so, taking over. So they're taking over. The kids are going to take over. <laughs> if you don't hear me on the podcast anymore, you'll know that it's due to senile, senility. I don't even know how to say I'm that. I'm taking over the podcast with my siblings. Well, anyways, Princess Leaf, it's been nice knowing you. This is Gamer Leaf signing out for my last time. <laughs> Go ahead. And... Goodbye, Game Relief. And guys, now I'm going to say my new saying because Game Relief is out of here. Um, so if you're a girl and boy, like this video and you'll have fun. If you like to hear me, then shout hooray. Hooray. Anyways, get geeky, stay geeky. And bring others into the into the Princess Leaf podcast. Or geekful, like we like to say here on Game Relief. Game Relief. It's not Game Relief. It's Princess Leaf. Princess, Princess Leaf. Leaf out. And Game Relief out. He if was I don't, just joining me. If I don't make it back, you'll know what happened. I got mauled by the little kitties. Anyways, There's Game no Relief. There's no little kitties, really. Well, yeah, because they're having birthdays. But, anyways, Game Relief out. It's been fun. We'll catch y'all on the flip side, and I'll only be here when you. <laughs> <laughs> Game over. Tune in next week to see if Gamer Leaf and Dreams are respawned.